Dear friends, this is Cesar Radigi, translating for Sixto Paz, the meditation for tomorrow. The guides have asked us to conduct this Saturday the 25th of April, a meditation that they will amplify due to their close presence right now, as they're manifesting all over the planet. The first thing I would ask everyone is that on that day, which is tomorrow, we try to fast. That is, try to eat as frugally as possible, little, or drink only water. This will allow us to activate our full potential. This way, we are more sensitive, or to be most sensitive, when we try to connect with each other, and we can bring the best to the planet and to humanity. It is also a minimum sacrifice so that we can connect with each other and we can bring the best to the planet and to humanity. This is an example of the exercise that we can do in meditation this Saturday. All standing up first with our heels together, spine straight, we will raise our arms above our head. We are all going to take a slow, deep breath through the nose, using the diaphragm, the belly, as if it were a bellows, as if it were an accordion, in such a way that when we are inhaling, we inflate the belly forward, not upward, but forward. And as we finish inhaling, we contract the belly, pushing the air to the bottom, middle, and upper parts of the lungs. We contract the belly, pushing the belly to fill the lower, middle, and upper part of the lungs, as I said. We inhale slowly. We hold, and we exhale through the nose. And we're going to visualize how from the cosmos descends from the central, central sun of the galaxy and from all the violet stars of the galaxy, the violet light of energy. And when we excel through the nose, we're going to visualize all of them, as the cosmos says, from the central sun of the galaxy and from all the stars in the galaxy and from the universe, the energy of that violet light, the energy of transmutation, mysticism, faith, and magic, the energy of change. And we're going to focus on how that energy enters through the fingers of our hands, through our crown, and slowly we open our arms and we feel how that energy envelops us in a dome of light, in a dome of protection, in such a way that nothing bad, nothing negative will prevail against us. Feeling how that energy envelops us in a dome of light, a dome of protection, in such a way that nothing bad, nothing negative could prevail against us. Feeling like that energy envelops us in that dome of light of protection. Individually and also in a family, we are protecting and enveloping ourselves in light, our homes, with that energy of violet light which is forming around us a dome of protection, a dome of light, which is going to transmute, reverse, change everything bad, all ambush, 
which at this moment hangs over us, about humanity, any disease and negativity. We will stay with our arms flexed, loose at the sides of the body. And we're going to take a second, slow, deep inhalation through the nose. We hold and we exhale through the nose. We're going to open and ra raising our arms and hands and we're visualizing all like the heart of the planet, the planetary core. It is spiraling down our feet, down our legs. And that energy is going to be combined with the energy of the cosmos with the energy of the violet light. We feel like that energy, green for healing, green for hope, green for a love of life. It spirals upward and combines with the energy of the violet color in such a way that the energy of the transmutation and the energy of the green color of healing, hope and optimism surrounds us all individually and to our families green with love for the day it ascends in spiral and combines with the energy of the violet color in such a way that the energy of the transmutation and the energy of the green color of healing hope and optimism that involves us all individually in our families, our homes collectively. We all take a third slow, deep breath, inhaling, retaining, and exhaling through the nose. And we'll visualize how the energy of our Father Son, the energy of the bright color, of balance, equilibrium, of making consciousness, wisdom, mental power. It descends in spiral way on the planet Earth, through our fingers, through our hands, by our crown. And again, we open our arms and our hands in arc, in a dome shape. And we feel like that energy of the yellow color of balance of awakened consciousness combined with the energy of the violet color of the transmutation and the green of healing. It not only involves us individually or to the whole family, but also all of all of our relatives, friends, acquaintances, even enemies. And we will be extending this protection dome to the neighborhood where we live to the city where we are to the country where we are to the entire planet to all humanity and now we're going to place the arms flexed palm of the hands at the height of the shoulders and we're going to consolidate this protection dome Repeating all after me, the great invocation. The moment we do it, it can, we can do it faster or slower. It all depends. We can do it slowly now so that you can take it as an example. You can repeat it after me. From the point of light in the mind of God, let light stream into the minds of human beings. Let light descend to earth. From the point of love in the heart of God. Let love stream forth into the hearts of human beings. May Christ return to earth. From the center where the will of God is known. Let the purpose guide the wills of human beings. The purpose that the masters know and serve. From the center that we call the human race, 
Let the plan of love and light be realized and seal the door where there's evil. May light, love, and power restore the divine plan on earth. So be it. So be it, and so shall it be. And that we each do our part. We can cross our hands at chest height, and for a minute of silence, we give thanks to the deep love of the cosmic consciousness, to God, the Father and Mother, not only for being in this moment of our lives, doing this work for us, for humanity, but also giving thanks for the chance of getting this opportunity to test all our learning, all our inner growth. Next, I'm going to ask all of you that we again raise our arms above the head. We put the palms together, separate the fingers. We take a slow, deep breath, inhaling, holding. And when we exhale through the nose, we're going to visualize all of them like the energy of the violet light. The energy coming from the central sun of the galaxy towards the Hunapku. It descends in spiral. We attract more of that energy and that energy is concentrated between both palms of the hands. And we will see how a sphere of light is formed that is consolidating. It is the energy of transmutation, of mysticism, of the faith of magic of which we spoke earlier. The sphere of violet light that is consolidating. We're going to go ahead and take another inhalation slowly and deep through the nose. We inhale. We hold. And we exhale. We will flex the arms. We're attracting our hands towards the crown. We are separating our hands and we are placing, we're going to be depositing that sphere of light, of violet light that descends through our crown and that descends through the spine and the energy of the violet light will envelop us. It fills us with that energy, both outside and inside. And we feel how that energy of the violet light is going through and goes down our spine and it fills us with that energy both inside and outside and we feel how that energy of the violet light is going to transmute change reverse modify any negative situation any lurking all that is going to go away all that is going away because we are being enveloped strengthened by the violet light we are feeling that this energy from that sphere of violet light has descended towards us and is located at the height of our solar plexus at the height above the navel there we visualize that this sphere of violet light is concentrated. Again, we're going to raise our arms above our head. We put the palms of the hands together. We separate our fingers. We all take a slow, deep inhalation again. Through the nose, we inhale. We hold, 
and exhale through the nose. We visualize all as the energy of the bright green color coming from all the green planets of the galaxy and the universe, plus the energy of Mother Earth itself, the energy that spirals through our feet and legs. It descends and ascends through us, and the energy is concentrated, forming a bright green sphere between both palms of the hands. In a sense, through us and forms a bright green sphere between both palms. That is the energy of the healing, of hope, of the love of life. The best way to combat the pandemic of fear, of psychosis, is filling our energy with hope and optimism, of love, of life. We all visualize that sphere of bright green color that is transforming and consolidating between both palms of the hands. We take a new, sleek, slow, deep inhalation. Inhale. We hold. And exhale through the nose. And when exhaling through the nose, we all visualize how that sphere of bright green light has consolidated. We bring our hands closer to the crown and we deposit the sphere of green light that centers through our crown. And we're depositing the sphere of that light going through our crown, through our spine, bringing us healing hope, optimism, love of life, health, physically, mentally, and spiritually. And we are all feeling like that sphere of light. It is filling us with this wonderful green color, this bright green color. We are ascending with our hands and are visualizing that the sphere of bright green light will end up being located at the height of the solar plexus, as merging with the sphere of violet light. We all take a new inhalation, raising our arms, placing the palms of our hands above the crown. We all take a new inhalation, we inhale, retain, and when we exhale through the nose, we visualize as our Father Son and all the yellow stars of the galaxy and the universe, that light of bright yellow energy descends in a spiral and is concentrated between both palms of the hands and it forms a sphere of bright light, bright yellow light. That energy is the energy of balance, awakened consciousness, wisdom of mental power. And that energy is concentrated between the palms of the hands we hold. And when we exhale, we will flex our arms we are separating our hands, depositing the bright yellow sphere that enters through our crown. We are separating our hands, depositing the bright yellow sphere that enters through our crown. It goes down the spine, bringing us balance, awakened consciousness, wisdom, as to face the current moment, how to give importance to what matters and what not, facing it as it should be. And we feel like the bright yellow sphere ends up descending to the level of the solar plexus, overlaps and joins our violet sphere and the bright green sphere. We're now going to place our hands at the level of the solar plexus, 
slightly above the navel. We place our hands in front of what was the sphere of light. We're all going to take a slow and deep inhalation through the nose. We inhale. We hold. And exhale through the nose. Aware of all that potential. Of all that energy that descends from the cosmos and our ability to amplify this energy plus the support of our elder brothers, the extraterrestrial guides, with the presence of their ships around Earth that already balanced us, healed us, gave us light, and we will extend this to our homes, to each corner of our homes, to each of our relatives, to all the people in our neighborhood, to all the houses in the neighborhood of this city, of this country, of this planet. We're bathing them, enveloping them in violet light of transmutation, transmuting all evil, all disease, all negativity, filling them with health, with the green of hope, of optimism, Filling them with health and optimism about everything. And also, your bright, bright yellow energy of balance, awareness, and wisdom. As to put into practice everything that has been learned. And we're going to visualize how this is spreading throughout the planet. And it's reversing all the negativity all disease, all fear, all that is disappearing. And our entire planet is again between green and blue. Blue of the spirituality and green of hope. We relax our hands and we're all going to do a meditation now. I'm going to ask, ask that we sit as comfortably as possible palms of the hands, one below the other, and the thumbs touch. And we're going to do this continuously and continuously. And doing this mantras, we're going to repeat, we're going to sing a mantra, a key word, a key word of power. The word is Aum, Aum, A-U-M. A mantra with which the pineal gland, the crown, the connection with the cosmos is activated with it. The opening of portals between the dimensions. And the ability to become magicians and alchemists of our own lives and of the planet itself. And of the situation and the reality so everyone always taking slow and deep inhalations inhaling and exhaling we are all inhaling with the mantra realizing this word of the aum i'll start and you follow me ah uh
during the whole hour that the meditation lasts, we will be mentalizing this mantra. And if we want to visualize something accompanying it, we will be visualizing how that will be descending on earth. Energies of harmony and balance. Energies both of violet color, blue, celestial, green, yellow, orange, and red. This Saturday, I'm waiting for all of you to join us in this meditation for the planet Earth, for humanity, for the planetary future, especially because nothing is happening just because. There is a very strong ambuscade, like an ambush, if you will. Because like any other force, it is opposed by another one of same intensity. How important will it be the leading role of the humanity has in the concert of the worlds? So that there are forces so powerful that they are conspiring against us very directly or sometimes very subtly. But if we all are united with the same intention, nothing will be impossible for us. See you on Saturday.